Hi Taurus, Vince here for 7D Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Taurus, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned till the end of your reading where I'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. Very interesting. All right, so let's dive right in. Right now, something big is about to happen because you got the Two of Cups and you also have the Wheel of Fortune. So right now, your angels and guides are telling you there is a partnership about to be formed. The universe is bringing you and someone together because this is the perfect timing. You guys most likely know each other in the fifth dimension and you're going to learn, uh, we're going to see each other now. You're going to finally meet in this third dimension now through divine timing. You went through a lot of stuff. You learned some stuff. You're going to bring that knowledge and wisdom together. This is why it hasn't happened earlier. Now, source is telling you, focus on the solution and not the problem. And this person will enter your life because there is a energy block. There is some sort of money block here love block energy block the fact they got the devil the fact they got the emperor they're letting this these cards are letting you know that there is some sort of block here preventing you from attracting abundance first and foremost clear this block and then your relationship will manifest now what is this energy block that is here it could be a limiting belief it could be self-doubt it could be poor self-talk it could be not taking care of your avatar how you do anything is how you do everything. So for example, imagine if I am someone who exercises, I'm someone who's positive, but I'm someone who eats junk food for every single meal. It's not going to work because my frequency will be low. But imagine if I'm someone who eats healthy, I'm someone who likes to read books, but I'm someone who thinks negative. It's still not going to work. You have to have balance. Harmony in life leads melody in lots, right? And at the end of the day, that's what you're looking for. And your angels and guides are telling you, it's right here for you. The abundance is right here, but you got to clear some energy in order for it to manifest first. Now, very interesting. You got the tower card and the page of pentacles. So there's a little bit of shocking news, unexpected surprises about to enter your life. Now, these are nothing more than lessons and it's a test. When you pass this test, I'll say when because you're getting the heads up now, you will be handsomely rewarded with some sort of financial abundance, right? And what you think about activates a vibration within you. So right now your angels and guides are telling you when this test presents itself, do not get overwhelmed. Do not panic because you don't want to change that vibration within you, right? I'll give you an example. Imagine you're driving, you get a flat tire. Uh-oh, scary. Now, what do you do in this situation? You can flip out and be like, oh, no, I got a flat tire. The universe hates me that vibration within you don't want. Or you can be like, okay, you know what? Why did this happen? What was the lesson? That's all you gotta do. Ask yourself, what was the lesson in any negative situation? And then that negativity goes, well, the lesson is check my tire pressure. Okay, great. Well, how can this be beneficial? Well, I am so grateful I didn't get an accident. Great, let's change the tire, move on. When you show your angels and guides, you can deal with that lesson easily. Then they're gonna bring you more opportunities every single time, right? But that's what they wanna see from you right now. Now, very interesting. You got the joy card ascension, animal spirit, and intuition. Wow. So right now your angels and guides are telling you to listen to the joy within you. Follow your bliss. Follow your passion. This is so important, guys. This I cannot express enough. If you want to get rich, it's joy. If you want to meet your soulmate, it's joy. Take a look at her. Look how happy she is, right? Ask yourself this. Why does this matter? Like if someone comes up to me and says, Vince, I want to make a million dollars. I'll tell them, great. Why don't you play outside? They'll be like, what the heck? I'll be like, what do you like doing for fun? Do you like, you know, walking? Do you like, you know, eating? Do you like singing? Do you like dancing? Do you like watching TV? Genuinely, what do you like doing? Go do that and then you will get rich. They'll be like, how does this work? Why? Because when you follow your joy, your bliss, your passion, then your angels and guides, and I mean only, only then do your angels and guides have the capability of actually entering your life and telling you what to do through your intuition. This is the only possible formula ever. They never, ever, ever pick up the phone and call you because of free will. They can't do that. And they can't just kind of like guide you unless your feelings match their feelings. So when your feelings are joy, bliss, happiness, passion, when you're cooking something and you're like, wow, these ingredients smell awesome. When you're talking to someone, you're in a flow state in the moment, that's when you're going to get downloads. Because at the end of the day, you're not looking for a dollar bill. You're looking for a opportunity to make tons of money annually, right? Just, you know, income that's just, you know, paying dividends over and over again. This is doable. It's right here for you, but you have to quantum entangle with this energy. All right, now you got the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. 
These are reminders that you are meant to be rich. Your birthright, whoa, it is your birthright to be able to fly first class. It is your birthright to be in that mansion. It is your birthright to be able to order whatever you want off the menu without checking the price. And the universe is not punishing you right now. It's responding to your energy. So right now, if you are asking yourself, why is this not happened yet? It's because right now there are some sort of limiting beliefs. Like I used to have limiting beliefs telling myself my family came from poverty, so I will never be rich. Now that's exactly what it sounds like, a belief that limits you. That's not real, look at us now, right? So right now your angels and guides are telling you the same thing for you. Any limiting belief you have in your life, I'm big boned, I will never be fit, completely false. I will, I will, you know, um, I have no education, therefore I'm not smart, completely false. What are you even talking about, right? So right now your angels and guides are telling you that there is a major opportunity, major uh, 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 synchronicities, major bonuses about to be presented to you. And by following your bliss, the doors will open up for you every single time. Now, very interesting right now, you do have the Six of Swords and the Five of Swords. And right now, this is when your angels and guides are reminding you to bring your energy in the present moment. They're telling you to stop quantum entangling with the past because you're confusing them and yourself. When you are quantum entangling with the past and thinking of the past, what you're basically doing is pressing the, the pause button on the movie of your life. You don't want to do this, right? When you are in the present moment, that's when your point of attraction is strong. So what are you thinking about in the past? Maybe you're telling yourself, I had something, I lost something, which is usually depression, which leads to a predictable future, which is anxiety over a vision or story of the future, which is abundance. And right now your angels and guides are telling you, bring your awareness back to the present moment. Now you also have animal spirit here. This, this is your angels telling you that it's time to summon up that inner lion within you confidence, right? There is an opportunity that they want to bring you, but they want you feeling confident. And right now you're being reminded that your feelings are the indicators of your alignment. That's why when you trust your feelings, that's where confidence comes from. Now, I'll give you a trick. You know what confidence is at the end of the day? Like imagine right now you want to start a business, but right now your angels and guides are not bringing any business opportunities to you because they think that you are not ready and that the business will not be successful. So they're waiting for you to be confident. So how's that work? Confidence is nothing more than knowledge. I repeat, confidence is nothing more than knowledge. You wanna be confident in business? Market research due diligence. You wanna be confident in love? Study the human psyche. You wanna be confident in health? You know, just close your eyes, eat food, see if it feels good or feels bad. Don't look at what's on the internet. Right now, if I told you what I eat for my diet, you wouldn't even believe it. You'd be like, that's unhealthy. You know, that's not enough micronutrients. Is it though? Is it though? You know what I'm saying? So right now, your angels and guides, they're telling you, Trust your intuition, good things will come. Right now you also got the Knight of Swords reminding you that during this time frame to be, come up with a strategy and be strategic with your energy and the solutions that you're looking for will always find that high vibration. And that's why it's so, so uh, important to be organized and so important to be um, calculated in your decisions, right? All right, now time to get some money and some love into your life. Let's grab some money and love and let's quantum entangle with the energy of abundance. All you have to do is write down the following affirmation in the comment section. And when you write this down, make sure that you breathe life into these words by feeling these words. Feeling is the secret. I'm sure you've probably heard that before because it really is. All right, so write down the following affirmation in the comment section exactly as you see here. I love this one. This is you telling the universe you are aware. I deserve better. Yes, you do. Yes, you 100% do. Write this down in the comment section. Let your angels and guides know you're ready. I deserve better. Yes, you do. This is your birthright. And right now, you understand that you are getting something very good, if not better, and that it's only going to go uphill from here and right now. So right now, your angels and guides are telling you good things are coming your way. Write that down in the comment section. I deserve better. And let them know that you know that you are fully aware of your point of attraction. All right, now, final message from your spirit guides. Final message is, love is the reason. Yes, yes, yes. I'm loving this message. Love is the reason. Uh, right now they say, each person in your life is there for a reason, and that reason, is always, that reason always has something to do with love. Like me. 
So right now, your angels are telling you that there is someone in your life. And right now, love can, means happiness, peace, and joy. It leads to romance, right? But love means there is a something you can learn from someone. There's something they can teach you. There's some way they can guide you, mentor you. There's some way directly or indirectly. Like I met my wife because a mutual friend indirectly referred me to go to a birthday party where I met her. So there's something here that is waiting for you and it does revolve around love because love is the key that unlocks all the doors in the third dimension. All right, Taurus, hope you enjoyed reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, love is your superpower.